Right. So we have one more call. Um, Aaron in the Eastern Eastern. U.S. Hello, Aaron. How are you doing today? Hi, Aaron. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for holding for so long. We appreciate it. Doing pretty well, and I really hope you do get that coffee, Jen. Oh, it's (laughs) as soon as the show's over, I'm like right in the kitchen. Yeah. (laughs) So it says your partner believes in some some woo shit. (laughs) Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I don't know (laughs) if you've ever heard of Carolyn, uh, Carolyn Mace. No, I don't think I have. She is a uh, an author. She's put out a couple of you know best selling New York best, uh, New York Times bestseller books. Uh, unfortunately, anybody can put out a book, really. Yeah, but um, and have people follow she, it. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's coupled herself with um, uh, with I think a uh, Dr. Sheely, and he has a doctorate and a PhD, so it look, makes her look legit. It makes her look credible, right? Um, right. Mm. Yeah. But she's putting out all the stuff about your spiritual journey and spiritual healing. And um, did you know you can heal yourself? Mm. Um, and I mean, that's just some of it. But a lot of that is what my partner is into. I'm just and waiting for the term jade eggs to come popping oh, into yeah. <laughs> The term what? Jade eggs. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's fantastic way of cleansing yourself through your vagina by shoving crystals. Oh. Porous ones. Oh, porous oh, yeah, porous crystals because that's... That's, what, that's what keeps the gynecologist in, in business, ladies and gentlemen. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm just waiting for that at this point. Um, so what kind of stuff uh, is, so, uh, are yeah. they taken from these books? Um, so we are, we are in couples therapy. There's a, a couple of things that we do disagree on. Okay. And okay. Um, when they're talking, I don't know how, I, don't, I shouldn't be too explicit, but like they, they're looking into doing some healing and that... It, if, if that delves into the sexual realm, they want to be open to that. Okay. And that's not something that I'm consenting to yet. Okay. Um, but they they can they keep consist, insisting that this is what they feel like they're called to do, and and the universe is pointing them in this direction. Mm. And we've we've talked about it sometimes cordially, sometimes we get a bit heated. Oh yeah, you're talking um, about your consent and hearing, autonomy. Of course it would. Yeah, and like I'm, we're we're in a semi poly relationship right now. It's okay. not something that I'd like, but we're, we're working through it. Okay. And, um, this I feel is pushing a boundary. And like, whenever I, whenever I'm talking about this stuff, it's, it's, there's always like a pause and then they're trying to argue their point of view but, and, and not like, all right, we'll consent to that. Let's, let's talk about it. Right. Um, right. Yeah. Okay. I'm, so. I'm afraid of, I'm, I've been trying to talk to them from a recent perspective of like, why do you feel this? Like what other sign have you seen? Are you, are you counting? Uh, the hits and ignoring the misses. Yeah, um, love that you I said fear that. it's you. pushing them farther away, mm-hmm. and <sighs> n- n- not necessarily fr- farther away from us, but like turning them off to a path of reason. The, the first thing right. I, I want to ask: Have you brought this up to your couples counselor that this is how they're communicating with you? Uh, as far a, as as far as them kind of avoiding and. You know, you're saying, I need more information about this. They can't produce more information, but they're still just trying to hammer in this. This is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want to you. Even though you've expressed, you're not exactly consenting to it. Have you expressed this breakdown in communication to your couple's counselor? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. We're, this is, this okay. is something that we're working through. Yeah, yeah that was the um, first. I feel, you know, have, yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I feel our counselor might be on the side of believing in a little bit of woo, but mm. thankfully they've been which staying pretty neutral thus far. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least they're keeping things bit. neutral, which yeah. is good. And that's all you can ask for. Yeah. They've been supporting both of us in, in our views and trying to make each other see the other's point, not necessarily like accepting it and adopting it, but at least understanding where we're coming from. Right. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I just can't understand about using the universe for guidance and what a soul is. Right. Absolutely. Right. Now, the, the so issue I, I have here are... is I am not an anti-theist. So I find it fine for people to have personal faith as long as it doesn't intrude onto other people. Right. It's, it's now an intrusion. This isn't something that mm-hmm. he is solely wanting to believe in and kind of leading his life into. He is now pushing you to, to make decisions based on his beliefs. And this is where my concern is. Right. And just to clarify, it is a he, correct? Yes. I'm sorry to clarify. This. That's a they. A they. they. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. I should have clarified. They, that they You're are. Totally fine. Thank you. That they are now trying to kind of encroach on you. And this is, this is where my concern is, is that boundary. It's, I've, I've expressed my, 
I, I've since accepted that, yes, we're, we love each other. Mm. Um, we always will, but whether or not the marriage can continue. And I've expressed mm. my thought of, and I, I've told them, I, I'm not comfortable being in a marriage where this is the case. Right. Yes. So they're not aware yet. of my position. They're not, they're not like pushing me like abusively. They're not going to say it's happening tomorrow, but it's something that they're highly considering. Right. Um, and that's, that's, that's more accurate, I should say. Yeah. Uh, I can speak from personal experience about something similar to this. Thankfully, the woo bit wasn't an issue. In play there, yeah. But there, <laughs> I, I was in a two-and-a-half-year relationship with somebody. I was living with them. I moved across the country with them, and they started talking about something they wanted relationship-wise, sexually, that I just could not at the time give. And I kept pushing back and explaining my side and it felt very much like I was talking to a brick wall where mm. oh, those are your feelings they're valid but also this is what I need um and, and yeah it wasn't a it wasn't a push yes we're doing this tomorrow whether you like it or not but, but it was, it was slow working slow, down slow grinding down of you know what I wanted and needed in the relationship um Right. So I I feel you very deeply there. That happened with my ex-husband too when it came yeah, to Yeah, it's a it's a it's a common it's a common thing and honestly if handled correctly it's not a bad thing either no. because people realize as they grow and and enter into relationships what they do need and what they do like and dislike and it might change and that's very very hard but expressing what you need from another person is not a bad thing the bad no. the the concern like Jen said comes in where you are not being given the same consideration um, so yeah, I, I, I empathize with that. Part of me almost wants to ask you to call secular sexuality next that, week. This would be fantastic. Because <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is very much along the same lines of what I talk about with uh, my co-host Christy, who is a sex therapist. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you would like to call back, we can definitely yeah. let those call. I think, I think Christy know. would be amazing. No, Christy would be great to talk yeah. to you about this. Um, so do, do you think you'd be is interested in calling or back? some other point? Yeah. Uh, the Secular Sexuality airs live on Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. Central. Yeah, if and you're Eastern, it would be 8 o'clock. Right, and her. you, um, oh, that's For right, them. you're Eastern, yeah. you guys. They're, um, so I'm that still would be, Central, she's, they're Eastern. Right. <laughs> that would be 8 p.m. for you, and it's the same number as this one. Yeah, okay. I think you and Christy would um, talk I guess real quick before we end, I didn't know if you had, had as, as, in hearing what I've been saying, is there any any other, like, realms of conversation you can think of to to address that that wouldn't be as i guess confrontational that would, um, would try to make them see right i think reason. at this point the best it's difficult to enter into a conversation that's already been happening for a while because there's already right. that baggage of um, previous conversations what what i used to do me, okay. me and my ex-husband clashed a lot with this and he's very, no, 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 I want you to hear it now and I want you to agree to it right now. He's that kind of person. And the way I would diffuse it is, hey, I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing where you're coming from because we may be kind of emotionally charged in this. Can you take a break and write out mm. what exactly it is you be you're believing in and why you would like to ask for this? What, what is your reasoning for asking for this and why do you feel this is fulfilling? And that gives both of you time to, to cool off and it also gives them the time to sort out all these rapid fire, but this is what I want, but this is what I want, and they're saying no, it gives them time to sort out those rapid fire thoughts and put them into something that you can both actually read and go over. Mm -hmm. and go instead of saying, yeah. well, this and that and this and that, you can go line by line and say, okay, well, you say you feel this, can you explain to me why you feel this? And you can take chunks of it at a time. To sit and discuss okay. with them. That's, That's actually a really a good, idea. good idea for any relationship that is even semi open or yes. semi poly, yes. especially. Yes. Um, that level of communication. Something that we talk about again on secular sexuality is the concept of uh, radar, mm. um, which is the uh, the it comes from the multi amory podcast, which is something you might want to check out. That is a um, good idea. And that's uh, every week. You get together with your significant other, uh, whichever one you want, and you have a conversation with them about uh, everything that went down on the week. What, the, what did they do? What do they want? What do they need for you from next week? Um, and you guys just have that touch base that yeah. this is how I'm feeling. I, I felt jealous this week or this week was really amazing. I liked when you did this or I disliked when you did that. That intense level of communication, over communication even, is extremely helpful 
um, even even all of this woo, this this pressure yeah. aside, if there's any kind of polyamory and even monogamous relationships yeah. require this, right? Too. It's I, I would say for both, and I've had it in both situations, especially with the the touch base with your partners once a week. Again, write them down because you don't want to forget something and then have it harbor on you. And you're like, well, we're going to touch base this week so that we can give each one of our partners equal time. I want to make sure I'm covering everything. Write, okay. write down your thoughts. And it, it helps to write them down and not just spew them out as they're coming to you. Mm -hmm. Write it out, look at it, and yeah. say, okay, can this be communicated in a different way that may be less confrontational, a little mm -hmm. more diffusing? Yeah. Especially right, strong points, that's unfortunately, it's not one of my partner's strong points. <laughs> right, right. Well, th that's something that you guys can work on together if that's something you yeah. want to pursue. And uh, yeah, I, so. yeah. I, hope, I hope that things maybe get a little bit less tense. Um, and if you do, do want to call Secular Sexuality, I won't be on next week, but I know Aww. that Christy... Oh, that's right. Aww. Christy would be amazing <laughs> yes. to talk to about this. Christy so knows how to break this down. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's Thursday it at sounds, 8 p.m. Sounds enticing. Yeah. <clears throat> well, hopefully right. we hear back from you. Well, uh, that'd be great. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks for calling. Yeah. Best of luck. Best of luck. And thank you guys for all the volunteering you do and the crew in the back and everybody. Yes, the our crew. ACA has been yeah, amazing. Uh, thank you so much thank for calling. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, oh. All right. Well, we are out of call.